Welcome into the recap of the Bulls' fourth straight victory. This one, 121-112 over the San Antonio Spurs in San Antonio, Texas. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what Bears quarterback Justin Fields drives. Watch all the way to the end because I'm going to give away a pair of tickets to watch the rematch of these two teams at the United Center coming up on December 21st. Folks, let me just tell you something right now. You don't listen to these people that are telling you it's not a better team without Zach on the floor. Is he talented? Yes. That team plays way better basketball when this guy's not on the court because he's a selfish player. Talented, selfish. You watch that team compete tonight in the face of a tough night shooting the ball for DeMar DeRozan. He still gave you 20 Six boards and 10 assists. Massive nights from Nikola Vucevic, 21 and 16 boards. Torrey Craig banged in five threes. Patrick Williams looks like a different freaking human being. He had 20 tonight. Yeah, you look at the numbers. P. Will, 20 and six boards and three assists and knocked down a couple threes. Uh, Kobe White, 24, four rebounds and six assists. Folks, different basketball team. You can tell me all you want. Do not listen to those people connected around the Bulls that go, oh, anyone that thinks we're not better without Levine is nuts. You're nuts because you're not being honest with yourself. Be freaking honest. He's not a winning ball player. And the faster they get him off this team, the better this club will be. That's exactly right. I'll give up the occasional rare 35 or 45 point game to watch a team compete like this one did. They were losing at the half. They were scuffling and not playing great basketball, but the compete level is there. And guess what? Second half, guys started banging shots, making extra passes into Vooch, kick it to the wing, Kobe, bang, another three. Torrey Craig off the bench was sensational. That's exactly a fact. So anyone that disagrees with you doesn't know what they're talking about. Maybe this will wake Zach up if they don't deal him. Because right now, teams are not beating down the Bulls' door to get Zach Levine. So maybe watching this type of performance, maybe a light will go on. I doubt it, but maybe. All right, give me your best takeaway from tonight's game. I'll pick one of you. I got a pair of tickets for you to see the Bulls and the Spurs and that Unbelievably talented Victor Wembanyama coming up December 21 at the United Center. Post your comments. Must be here on YouTube. Have a great weekend. Take that.